My name is Chris Heatherton. I wanted to show you how to use the Onset Computer Corporation's da Hobo Data Logger in order to evaluate a tankless water heater. This is actually the Hobo Data Logger right here. This particular unit only in itself within this box will measure temperature and humidity. Um, and I'll show you how to do that here on the, the computer. First thing that you have to do is you have to plug in the unit into a regular USB port. Make sure it's right side up. We plug it in and I'll set it right here on the desk next to, to the computer. And then I will bring Start Up, go to Hoboware Pro. And then I come over here to Launch Device. Once I click on Launch Device, I'm able to choose which ports or which thermistors that I want to use and which values I want to, to measure. I've already pre-checked 3 and 4, which are actually the two ports on the side of the, the unit, the data logger. This is a uh, data logger U12013. Now on the back of it is the serial number of 1268469, and you can see that that number is right here. So we now have this data logger which has been plugged in. We don't want to check this one. We already unchecked it, so I'm going to uncheck it again. I'm not caring about relative humidity for a tankless water heater, but I do want to use ports 3 and 4, which are the two on the side that we will directly plug into. The logging interval, for this particular exercise, we're going to want to do at least a measurement every second. Um, as you can see right here, as I go, I'm sorry, farther up, it changes how many, t how many hours that it can record. So if I was to record every five seconds, it could go one day, six hours, and nine minutes. For our purposes, we're going to keep it at one second. On the launch options, you can launch it now at interval or delayed. We're going to actually for this exercise push uh, do the trigger to be a push logger button for three seconds and I'll show you what that logger button looks like. At that point we then come over here to click launch and it has been launched but we still have not triggered it so let's go and, and hook this unit up and trigger it. Okay we're now at the tankless water heater. One of the biggest complaints, or the most common complaints, is that people have uh, not enough hot water, or it's not hot enough at the shower head. So what we need to do is we need to look and see if the unit itself is actually performing to what we have asked it to. This particular tankless water heater is sitting at a requested temperature of 122 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the incoming water temperature and then the outgoing water temperature to see what the delta T is across the exchanger to make sure that the unit is actually performing up to what we're asking it to. The way that we do that, <coughs> this Hobo data logger, this is the button that we push right here once we have already attached and, and plugged in the thermistors. So let me show you how to attach the thermistors. This one happens to be on a 30 foot lead which is more than I need for this particular job, but it's what we're going to use. This is the um, thermistor end, and we're just going to use a zip tie and zip tie it right to the cold water supply. Like so. Do that same thing to the other one. This is the hot water coming out of the unit. This is the cold water supply going in, the hot water coming out of it. Now, we then plug those two other ends into the Hobo data logger. I'm going to plug the cold into the bottom, which would be channel, f I'm sorry, the cold into the 
top, which would be channel 3, and the hot coming out into the bottom, which would be channel 4. Then, one of the things you want to do is you don't want to handle the data logger once you have pushed the button, because you can affect it by rattling the wires a little bit. So, I'm going to set it on the floor, then I'm going to push the button. Once I push the button, I've already turned on the tub, so I can turn on this hot water supply valve to make the unit start running and then we'll run it for a couple three minutes to see what the delta T is and we can take it back to the computer then and run a graph on it and see to make sure that it is actually running as we've asked it to. So I'm going to set the data logger on the floor. I won't, I'm going to go ahead and push the button for three seconds and let off. Then the button 